Good morning, students. Let's discuss the sedimentary phases. Phases, F-A-C-I-E-S, phases, is not phases, yet it is still phases. So let's discuss it. An interesting aspect of sedimentology. Now, when the sediments are deposited, they have their distinctive feature. Okay, because they are deposited at different environments, at different time. So, if you want to characterize them, you characterize them based on their distinct physical features, biological features, or chemical features, or processes, you know, that occurred during their formation, during their transportation, during their deposition. So, they have this distinctive uh, or feature that you can use to classify them. Okay, and then this feature, according to uh, Nichols 2001, define the environmental, the, the environmental deposition of the sediment. Now, faces or faces is the first one. Faces, faces. Now, every depositional environment puts its own distinctive imprint on the sediment, making a particular faces. There's no, there's no, there's no singular. It's faces, singular faces, plural faces. Now, though the faces is a distinct kind of rock for that area or environment. Okay. So, for example, if you have a lot of sandstone in the deposition environment, then you can call it sandstone faces. Okay. That the one we see in the beaches, the marine beaches. Okay. But you can also see uh, a lot of Shell faces, okay, like in the offshore. If you go offshore, by the time you sample, you are going to see a lot of shell, shell, you know. Uh, then you can also have limestone faces, you know, mostly where you have a lot of uh, land input, terrigenous input into the deep sea. Okay, so you have different type of faces from different type of distinctive. Uh, uh, sediment. Now, what then is sedimentary phases? It is the sum of the the character, the characteristics of a sedimentary unit, resulting from some particular set of physical, chemical, and biological parameters that work together to produce a unit. Okay, a unit uh, is, in, is in is in a unit is in bold for emphasis with specific textural, structural, and con positional properties according to box 2001 so sedimentary phases is a body of rock characterized by a particular combination of lithology physical and biological structure that bestow an aspect different from the bodies of rock above it below it or by the side of it okay so a, a phases is distinct on itself concept of phases now, the phases concept refer to the sum of the characteristics of the sedimentary unit commonly at a fairly small scale, which include the lithology, the grain size, the sedimentary structures, the color, the composition, as well as the biogenic content. Why do we even study these phases? Okay, it's very important because it gives us a very good information about the sedimentary and the geologic history of that of that environment okay let's say for example uh uh if you have if there's a civil war okay that what is uh let's say let's say in in libya or or in this in this uh, arab country where that are being ravaged by war okay now the world it involves demolition of structures you know you know it, it involves a lot of bomb bombing bombardments you know bullets ultimately these things will be worked you know into the water body and they will be deposited as sediment okay now maybe in another 100 years that particular layer of sediment that have been deposited we give you information that 100 years ago there was a war. There was a war. 
you know, because of the type of things that you see in that segment. So, segment faces tell us a lot about the geologic and sedimentary history of that environment. It is also of economic importance. For example, hydrocarbons or water, minerals and metals, you know, are, can be traced, okay, uh, according to the phases, you know, according to the phases. So it can give it there of economic importance. We need to study because as you are studying, as you are studying the phases, you are having information about the mineral content of it, of that of that particular environment. You can also use it to predict or manage uh, some contemporary environmental issues. Clarification of phases or sedimentary phases. Okay, we use three major uh, things to classify. Uh, maybe the little phases, maybe the bio phases, or the ethnology. Now, in little phases, it's based on lithological and petrochemical or petrological characters, such as the grain size or the mineral content of, of that sediment. So, we used to classify them as little phases. It can be bio phases where you, uh, you, you, you classify them based on the fossil content, the plants and the animal content. Now, acknology has to do with uh, phases based on the fossilized tract, okay, some trails or trailings like burrows, like borings, uh, or other trails. Now, not on the fossil is a but the imprint, okay, the tract. The trails that those fossils have left or those animals left when they were alive before they become fossilized. So, uh, acknowledge is different from biophases. Biophases are the, those fossil content in itself, but uh, the acknowledge has to do with the fossilized tract. Please take note of the difference. Now, there are what they call phases association or assemblage, and it has to do with combination. And typically, uh, combinations representing one deposition and environment, okay, or uh, no, phases that occur in combination and typically representing one deposition and environment is known as a phases association. So, what it means that if you have the position of sandstone, for example, and then uh, year after year okay period after period season after season but all of them are typically the same type of environment or of the positional environment then they are classified as association or faces association or faces assemblage okay you know all right so groups of faces genetically related to one another and which have some you know environmental significance according to Collins in 1969 Phases or succession is a progressive change in certain phases properties in a specific direction, either vertically or horizontally. A progressive change, okay, in the property of a particular phases, okay, either uh, is transforming. You know, the change is very obvious. Either is changing, you know, vertically or horizontally according to how it's been deposited. Progressive change in certain phases properties in specific direction. Phases sequence are, you know, phases that phases occur, you know, phases sequence are reoccurring phases association which occur in a particular particular order. Okay, sequence by sequence. Remember the association have similar environmental or uh, the position of the environment. But uh, there's 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 sequence. They are, they are now in sequence. You no, know, this group, then another group, another group. You can say that they are in sequence. So we call them phases sequences. Now phases model. The apparent existence of other in nature suggests that there are a limited number of different and recognizable depositional environment, depositional system. 
okay so you 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 these the personal system are identified through the use of model now models that is the summary of a particular deposition system involving many individual examples from recent sediment and uh, ancient rock okay so uh, a, a model is 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 a predicting uh thing that you can use to you know for a particular uh deposition environment he said it is it is a generally summary of a given depositional environment or depositional system. So a summary of that particular system is known as the phases model. Phases can also be analyzed, okay, uh, to determine and interpret the type of depositional environment. Phases analysis is the interpretation of strata in terms of the personal environment, commonly based on a wide variety of observation. Now, this can be achieved by first of all recognizing the sedimentary environment, then interpret rocks based on phases, then you rely heavily on phases association, whether they are vertical or horizontal. Then you can now use some idealized model to to help you analyze. Now, there are people that you know, like uh, people that are uh, in geology, these things might involve some, you know, some computer models, you know, some mathematical jargon that you use to get them. But we as uh, marine scientists or marine biologists, we might not go into details to start calculating, but then it's, it's important that you know. So all you need to do is read more about this, and then see how you can actually analyze the phases. Now, but if, if you want to do this, there's a procedure that could be followed. So you measure the section of sedimentary rock or the sedimentary phases that you want to treat. Now you develop a detailed graphic sedimentary log. Okay, use, use standard symbols. Okay, evaluate association section quantitatively and qualitatively. They compare to phases model then assess regional association. Now these these are things that need some uh, in depth information, or some mathematical knowledge, some physical, oceanographic knowledge to be able to do this, uh, and then analyze it. All right. So just as I said before, we have also done this before. So let's go through it again and then let's get our questions together god bless you